Hi, I'm Taryn and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if you're new, I make a lot of skincare focused beauty content as well as fashion and life content. If that interests you, please be sure to check out my other videos, like this video, and subscribe. So I'm excited about this video because I will be doing a first impression review and demo of a Korean beauty sunscreen. I have used Korean beauty sunscreens before, but I have not reviewed any of them on my channel. So I'll be trying to put the Sun Tweak I'm Pure Perfect Sika Sunscreen. So I'm just gonna flip this here out of my way. This week's comment of the week is about whether or not I'm still using benzoyl peroxide. I got asked that question on one of my older videos and yes, I am. My last skincare routine video, the one that I talked about using topicals is my latest morning skincare routine video. And I still use the clinomycin and benzoyl peroxide combination cream. So yes. So I'm going to tell you more about this product before we jump into the video. I purchased this from Amazon for $22. I believe I used my HSA account. You can also purchase this from Soko Glam, which is a popular Korean beauty website for $24. And I will just tell you about the sunscreen just from the packaging. It is a low irritation sunscreen without chemical ingredients that can be used safely for infants and sensitive skin. It reduced stickiness with soft sensation, significantly decreased white cast, and produces a natural tone correcting effect. And this is dermatologist tested. It is 50 milliliters or 1.69 fluid ounces, and it is SPF 50. And I will tell you more just from the website, from the Soko Glam website. Physical blockers like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are notorious for being difficult to blend in, but this one stands out from the crowd thanks to its fast absorbing, non sticky non-greasy texture. Suntique on Pure Sika Sun Cream has a lightweight texture and calming benefits that skin will love. In addition to providing broad spectrum SPF 50 PA++++ protection, the EWG Green Formula also features soothing centella asiatica and moisturizing galactomyces ferment filtrate. The formula gives skin a matte finish and leaves behind no scent. Let's twist this. I think something snapped when you twisted it. It doesn't have, um, it does have the safety seal on the back. So I'm just gonna Go in. And I really like the applicator on this bottle. There we go. I'm just going to fingers. I'm just going to pat. Okay, and it has no scent. It does have a, like a cosmetic smell to it. There we go. Okay, so now that the sunscreen has kind of smoothed into the skin, it definitely did give off the appearance of having a white cast at first, but that is now gone. I'm gonna check with my phone really quickly just to make sure that that is accurate. It looks really good. I think it blended into skin really nicely. You do have to kind of take a little bit more time rubbing it into your skin. It does have a nice feel to it. It feels pretty net. I don't have the greasy look, which I'm super excited about. If you watch my latest Avino sunscreen video, you saw my skin was looking very bright, very shiny. I like the feel of it. I like the texture of it. I feel like if I were to apply makeup over this, it would go on very smoothly, but I'm not gonna be applying makeup today because I'm gonna reapply the sunscreen throughout the day so that I can give you guys a more accurate description of a first impression and a more accurate review. So I will come back at the end of the day to give you a final update, review of the sunscreen. I feel like putting it on the skin went on very, very well. Um, and I'm excited to see how it turns out at the end of the day. It's been about 12 and a half hours since I initially applied this sunscreen and I reapplied it twice today. And initially I thought it was a good match for me. I thought that it didn't have a white cast. I thought that it just went on really well. But as you can see, this sunscreen 
absolutely has a white cast. You can especially see it towards my hairline and keep in mind, I don't have any edge screen control or anything along my hairline. You can see it when you compare like my chest to my face. It's very white, I notice it later on in the day, especially after I applied it for the second time. I would say once you apply layers of it on top of your initial layer, it definitely produces that white cast look. I walked around looking like this today, unfortunately, and then I did apply a third layer just because I wanted to give you guys a thorough review. I would say that reapplying it, I don't really care for that. It definitely peels a little bit as you reapply it and you can kind of rub off some of it onto your face, but that's almost with any product if you apply friction to it. I still think the sunscreen might do well under makeup, foundation, a full face. I think it might do well. My skin obviously doesn't look oily, but it just looks Casper like. Like I look ghost like. I look ashen and gray. So I do not rate the sunscreen very well, especially when it comes to black and brown people. I would not recommend the sunscreen at all. I wish that it did not leave a white cast because I would say that the sunscreen is pretty good despite that. Personally, I'm just very disappointed in the sunscreen. I thought that it was gonna do well, but now it made sense. I try not to read a lot of the reviews. I just wanted to try it out for myself, but I can imagine what those reviews say. Maybe if I was someone that didn't have to think about white cast, maybe I would rate the sunscreen higher but since I am someone that deals with that and then I know a lot of people that watch my videos are people that have to find sunscreens that do not leave a white cast I would probably give this a C maybe three out of five stars if that like the white cast is definitely terrible I don't want to say a D because overall it's decent I think this might work well under makeup I might try applying it under makeup so I can just get use out of the sunscreen or maybe I will return it if I can overall I do not recommend the sunscreen I'm usually very positive when it comes to my product reviews but I do not recommend the sunscreen at all however there are a lot of Korean beauty sunscreens that work well with all skin tones so I will probably show you guys some of the ones that i've used in the past and maybe some new ones thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments have you ever tried this sunscreen as always please remember to like share subscribe and comment for more videos thank you again